I sing good one time. Good morning to you. That's right. Good morning to you. It's a brand new day for music, and I'm ready to rock with you. Good morning to you. Good morning, kids alive, and welcome to Spiritual Breakfast. I'm so excited for you all to be here today. Let's start with prayer, because at Kids Alive, we always start with prayer. Lord, thank you for this beautiful new day that you've made. Thank you for making us so special and loving us so much, Lord. We ask that you please forgive us for our sins so we can be in your presence, and we invite your Holy Spirit to be with us right here, right now, today, to start our day. Please be here. Please let the Word of God speak to us. Please teach us from the Bible what you want us to learn today, and uh, guide and direct our steps today. Make us more like your Son, Jesus. I pray that you protect us from anything that could hurt us, anything that could hurt us in any way, Lord God, physically, emotionally, mentally, or spiritually. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, let's start with worship with Naomi and Evangelina. Let's worship the Lord together with Ephesians 4.32. All right, great job singing, everybody. I got my buddy Scripture Squirrel here, and we're going to do our memory verse. You ready, Scripture Squirrel? I'm ready. All right, well, let's do it. It's a brand new one. It's uh, from Acts 3, 6. Okay, let's go. All right, Scripture Squirrel, what's it say? Well, Heater said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, rise up and walk. Wow, that was so dramatic, Scripture Squirrel. Very cool. So he did. they didn't have any silver or gold, um, but they gave him what they had. They prayed for him to rise up and walk. That's pretty cool. Say it one more time, Scripture Squirrel. Okay. X36. What Hater said, I don't have any silver or gold for you, but I'll give you what I have. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Rise up and walk. Very good, Scripture Squirrel. Thank you so much. Let's say goodbye to the kids. Bye, kids. I love you. Yes, Scripture Squirrel. Good work. Good work. All right, our Bible study for today is from the Fire Bible for Kids devotional. And we've got November 30th, Monday. It's a great new day to be alive. I love when we get together on Mondays. It's called Remember God. It says in Ecclesiastes 12, chapter 1. That's a fun word to say. Ecclesiastes. Remember your creator in the days of your youth. What's the first event in your life that you remember? Man, it's hard for me to remember back. It might be the time that I got saved because I was four years old sitting in my father's lap in a green lounge chair and he told me about sin, and I knew I needed to follow him. I remember a birthday when I was like three or four years old. I got this space helmet, and I got this um, this fire truck with a long ladder. Big truck. But I think I remember those things because of pictures as much as because I really remember them. It's hard to remember. Maybe your earliest memory is from after a time when you were four or five, because most people don't remember events from the time they're three or less. So... Um, in the book of Ecclesiastes, King Solomon wrote about the things he had observed in his life and gave advice based on his observations. Here he says it's important to think about God and remember him while you're still young. That way, as you try to live for him and follow him, you'll avoid a lot of mistakes that could have bad consequences for the rest of your life. 
We don't think about what's going to happen down the road when we make a mistake. But God knows the mistakes that we make have consequences and they can hurt us for a long time. So if you remember God when you're young and follow him when you're a child, you will avoid making lots of mistakes that will hurt you and those around you for all of your life. And even better than not making mistakes and not getting hurt, the blessing of the Lord is on your life when you're obedient to him, when you fear him, and when you walk with him, he blesses you. There's a verse in, uh, let's see, Psalms that says, the friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes known to them his covenant. Psalm 29, 19, 24, 19, I think it is. But anyway, God blesses people who fear him and honor and respect him. So as a child, we want to do that. We want to fear him, we want to respect him, and we want to honor him. And I want you to remember, it is never too early or you're never too young to start serving the Lord. It's never too early and you're never too young to serve the Lord. Even as the smallest child, you can do things to serve God. Amen? Let's pray. Lord, thank you for this time together. Thank you for your word which says to remember the Lord in our youth. And we want to be those kind of people that remember you while we're young people and obey you and fear you and honor you. In Jesus' name, please help us today. Amen. All right, it is time now. We are going to change things up. We're in season nine now, and we're going to streamline things and make things a little smoother and faster. So after our Bible study, we're going to go right to our closing song and our blessing for the end of today. So that's going to be our new format. It'll be a little shorter and faster, and you can get it done before you get off to school. So let's close with a blessing and a song. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine on you and give you peace. May the Lord lift up the height of his countenance on you. May the Lord protect you and keep you safe from all harm and trouble. In Jesus' name, Amen. in and